afternoon everybody this is pastor life god bless you this evening i have a quick word for you whatever you do whatever 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 it is that you do in your life do not leave the will of god the will of god is is in that he leads your life and he guides your life and he 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 takes your life to this world that we live in don't allow yourself to leave the will of god it is the word of god that will catapult you to many 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 places in your life that you need to go oh i'm telling you i don't know oh my god uh, it's a powerful thing when you are in the will of God because you are fully protected on every side. It is a powerful thing when God is leading your life. It is a powerful thing when the Holy Ghost is covering you. It's a powerful thing when you are spirit led by God. It is a powerful thing that one cannot even fathom. It is amazing, oh my rabo shata. When you are in the will of God, I'd rather be in the will of God. I'd rather want the perfect will of God than his permissive will. And I, I heard Catherine Coleman, I'm not sure many of us young people know her, but I happened to see her on, uh, uh, and he was, uh, 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 she was giving. Carlton Pearson, the late Carlton Pearson, made his soul rest in peace. But I, I, her word that she said to him was powerful. She said to him, whatever you do in this earth, do not before you expire, before you exit. This is powerful because he never knew these things. He was so young and she was just giving him an advice. Before you exit out of this world, make sure you are in the will of God. Make sure that the will of God is what you are carrying inside of you. The will of God determines everything in your life. Now, when you resist the will of God, then you allow Satan to come in and want to take control of your life. Tell somebody this evening, it's a quick word. Don't allow distraction, troubles, obstacles, whatever it is to allow you to escape from the will of God. Because when you escape, from the will of God, you begin to blame God for several things. Oh God, why is this happening to me? Oh God, why, 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 why? Not understanding that God, your life is in the hands of God. If you have given your life to Christ, it is embedded in the hands of God. So whatever takes place in your life, It's because God is in total control and he's over that. Don't leave the will of God. It's, it's imperative, it's important that somebody hear this word. Don't leave the will of God because you do not know what tomorrow holds for you. When you when you get mad at God and you start to do different things and stuff like that, the, the message was given to Carlton Pearson before he, he even became a, a, a big time pastor. Catherine Coleman, the late Catherine Coleman told him, whatever you do in your life, do not escape the will of God. It is under the wings of God that we are protected. It is under the wings of God that we know what it is, which road we need to go and which road we don't need to go. It is under the wing of God that we are able to discern between the Spirit's word, my God. It is under the wings of God. Do not escape it. The wings of God that we are protected on every side oh my dear brothers and sisters beloved whatever you do in your life don't leave Jesus don't give up on Jesus because he never gives up on you he loves you that's why he went to the cross he loves you that's why he gave his life as a ransom for you he loves you that's why he had to stretch his hand and be nailed in the hands and be nailed on the feet 
just because of you. He suffers. He suffered. He suffered agony. He suffered curses from people that he never even did anything to. Why? Because he knew his purpose. And his purpose was to come and die for you and for me. Whatever you do in your life, do not escape the will of God in your life. Allow God to work a work inside of you. The book of Philippians say, and he who started a good work in you will make sure he sees that it comes to an end. Trust God in your dilemma. Trust God in your troubles. Uh -huh. Trust God in whatever it is that you have to encounter in this life. Because you will go through the fire. You will go through a lot of stuff in your life. Don't leave the hands of God. I'm telling you, hold on to the unchanging hands of God. Hold on to the unchanging hands of God. It is that hand that will, will, will catapult you uh, to your next level in this life. Don't give up. Don't give up. I love you so much. You are valuable to God. You are special to God. You are important to God. And he did not make hell for you to go to hell. He made hell for those that are wicked and doing evil things on the earth to make it in that place. Not for you, baby. Not for you. I come to speak to somebody hard this evening. Do not leave the will of God because you are going through so much stuff. It is the will of God that will, again, catapult you to your next dimension in your life. Oh my God, my God, my God. I hope somebody hear me this evening. Uh, God bless you for now. And again, hear this word. Don't leave or escape the will of God and think that you can go another way because you're going through so much hard time and you're thinking that you can go another way and there will be someone to protect you. There ain't nobody else to protect you than Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is nobody else to ha have you a heart than Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is the I am that I am. He is the eight chance of days. He is the great and mighty God. Stand and stand on his word. God bless you this evening. Please be blessed by the Lord. I cover each and every one of us on this platform with the blood of Jesus from the very crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Love God. Love God. Give your all to God. Give yourself to God. Give your body to God. Give it all to God. Surrender to Him. It don't matter who likes you or who don't like you. It don't matter who who uh, pick up the phone to call you or who don't pick up the phone to call you. It's about Jesus being 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 in your life. You got to make sure that Jesus is in your life. That's very important. Glory be to God Almighty. May God bless you. May God strengthen you. May the face of Jehovah continue to smile upon your face and shine upon your face in Jesus' mighty name. I love you guys so much. You know who this is. That's the life coming all the way from Providence. Have a wonderful day. Please do not escape the will of God. Don't leave that place where you are with God because the minute that you leave, you invite the devil in to come and take control and the devil is a liar. He has no control over your life or the life of the children of God. I love you so much. God bless you. Be blessed in the